Hey everybody, let me show you what I got going on here today. This is an Asus Q524U. It came in because the screen was just black. The no image computer would boot up. <clears throat> it would have external video. And you could tell it was booting up because it had a little hard drive light on the side there. That when the hard drive is moving, not the red one. But if we do anything there, let's see. Let's open something up. Got the little white hard drive light there. If you can see it. Yeah, there you go. So that's always good to have. A lot of the, the newer computers don't have anything like that, but at least there you know the you know the computer. Right? So I tested this a new screen, an L C D, and it's working. You know, I've gone back and forth, put it on, disconnected it back and forth and it's fine because the other screen you know turned on uh, a couple times but sometimes yes and sometimes no so uh the diagnosis here is that this is the old screen right here yeah we just got a bad screen um usually screens you know go out because they get broken and things like that so it's not common i mean i don't remember the last time i have a screen that just went black like that i just it's just uncommon so that's what the deal is with there now the challenge with this is this if you can see it this is a touch screen it's got the glass right it's got the frame the glass and then it has the lcd that's kind of glued to it so that's the bad part the good part is that the lcd if you could see i put this card in here so the LCD is glued around the edges, but the face is not. Some of the newer models, the actual glass is glued to the LCD uh, with some local glue kind of they're fused together, kind of like the iPhones and all the uh, phone screens. And most modern computers are fused together, so you, you don't. It's not like a two-part thing like that. So in, in this case, the good part is that we sh may be able to separate the LCD and then just change the LCD by itself and not have to change uh, you know the glass and the touch uh, and the reason for that is that you know the LCD is a pretty generic part which I have but the glass on this is hard to come by it is available on eBay the glass is sold by itself without the frame so it would have to be, uh, rem well, not even. Um, I didn't even find one. No, yeah, I didn't even find one assembly. Sometimes you would just find the whole assembly uh, together. As a matter of fact, I didn't find an assembly together. I only found like a used assembly together. So that's not even an option. Even if they were together, it'd probably be kind of out of the uh, financial sense range for the repair would probably exceed uh the value of the unit so what we're going to try to do here um is present this to the customer if he wants to just change the lcd by itself we're going to try to separate that from there and just replace the lcd uh by itself and if that works out then that'll be a good fix of good fix we will run a little bit of a risk there of damaging the glass uh, which um, I gonna leave that to the customer I'm not gonna assume that uh, otherwise I would just give them a price on that used assembly but that's gonna be like over $300 so bottom line is that's one of the options there try to get it separated probably I don't know 80% chance we can do that uh, and it'll be uh, good to go that's what's going on right here right now PC911.